It's the Louisiana Downs Quarter Horse Racing Report, sponsored by the LQHBA, the Sire Fast Prize Jordan, Louisiana Center for Equine Reproduction, and Delta Equine Center. Things are good for quarter horse racing in Louisiana. Why? Well, with a minimum of 148 guaranteed quarter horse racing days and with annual purses exceeding the $22 million mark and with the Louisiana Breeders Association paying out over $4 million in breeder and stallion awards each year and with the annual LQHBA yearling sales seeing major increases in median, average, and total gross for 2014 and with Louisiana quarter horse racing having the largest purse of any state bred futurity with an estimated $1 million purse, you have to say things are definitely good for quarter horse racing in Louisiana. Louisiana bred quarter horses are faster horses that run for more money. And hello again everyone, I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. Welcome to this episode of the Louisiana Downs Report. And on this episode, we're getting ready to go to Bossier City, Louisiana to go cover the Mardi Gras Futurity as well as the Mardi Gras Derby this coming weekend. As well as in the recap section, we're going to look at the top qualifiers from the Harris Futurity. So without any further ado, let's get right into looking at those top qualifiers from this past couple weeks of the Harris Futurity Trials. I spoke with winning jockey Ricky Ramirez about this mount. Fastest qualifier, Maylene PYC, and he was real excited about the finals after this standout performance in the trials by this PYC Paint Your Wagon filly. That was a $15,000 purchase in the 2014 Heritage Place Yearling Sale last September. The time of the 300 yards was a rapid 15.536 seconds, which yielded a 94 speed index for this filly's first time out. It's been reported that she came out of the trial in very good order according to her winning connections. The next trial race to watch ends in a wild finale. TG Corona's memory wins the race only by a nose at the wire with jockey Alejandro Medina aboard, but So Smart and Cartel GG finish across the track in a three horse finish to dead heat for second and third. All three horses wind up with a 93 speed index for the effort. For more information about the Harris Futurity Trials and a list of qualifiers for the closing stakes event for the Louisiana Downs Quarter Horse Racing Meet, Log on to StallionEsearch.com. Okay, don't go away. We'll be right back after these words from Delta Equine Center. Delta Equine Center in Vinton, Louisiana. Breeders can view the stallion roster for 2015 at DeltaEquineCenter.com. That list includes the grade one stakes producing Sire Agouti, a brilliantly bred son of Corona Cartel. Shining First Dash, the grade one placed half-brother to leading sire Shizum. Jess Ellie, the sire who has proven to be a stake sire from only a few starters. Bedouin Cartel, a stake sire from his very first crop to race as well as a half-brother to Stoli. And the highly versatile, multiple stakes winning FDD Going Grand. Quality. Integrity. Delta Equine Center in Vinton, Louisiana. Okay, we're back here ready to look in the preview section. Let's look at this upcoming weekend stakes action in the Mardi Gras Futurity as well as the Mardi Gras Derby. Several storylines to follow in the Mardi Gras Futurity. And you can read the stories in the headline section as well as in the racing preview section of StallionEsearch.com. But all eyes will be on whether the Vicky McElvain trainee, one tough fox, can throw another winning performance after this fastest qualifying effort in the last trial race of the day in the slop. Or will it be Jose Garcia trained VF Go Max Go, who is in the five hole in the finals with Eddie Martinez aboard? This filly made it look too easy in her trial event. Or perhaps is it Miguel Rodriguez trained Toast to Catch? With Randy Edison aboard, who draws the nine hole and should be running eyeball to eyeball with another impressive qualifier in the trials, JB Red Scorpion, who will be in the far outside post with Paul Nieto aboard in the Mardi Gras Futurity. The qualifiers list for all these futurities always can be found at stallionesearch.com. Standing at Robichaux Ranch in 2015 in Brobridge, Louisiana, Fast Prize Jordan, the extremely versatile son of PYC Painter Wagon out of the Mr. Jess Perry mare named Fast Prize Doll. Fast Prize Jordan has a blazing turn of foot at multiple distances. The sire has won at distances of 250, 330, 350, and at 400 yards. His offspring hitting the ground thus far have looked nothing short of amazing. Fast Prize Jordan. Blinding speed. Versatility. The pedigree of a champion. Fast Prize Jordan. 
A returning champion is looking to continue his win streak here in the Mardi Gras Derby. Let's look at who are the top contenders. The Brenda Foster train JLS Dashin and Zuman brings a five race win streak into this $93,000 stakes event. And frankly, I have to tell you, he looks to be heads above this field going into the finals. Even the morning line nods maker has made him the even money favorite to make it six in a row. Under regular pilot Raul Ramirez Jr. in the trial, they both made it look easy, seemingly keeping something more left in the tank for the finals. Let's see if this Jose Guzman own gelding can continue his win streak in the Mardi Gras Derby. Okay, we'll be right back after a few words from our sponsor, Louisiana Center for Equine Reproduction. Introducing the stallion roster for 2015 for Louisiana Center for Equine Reproduction. Nationally top ranked sire Dash and Vi. The amazingly bred fast prize Dash. Son of first down Dash, first down Vi. Grade 2 winning son of Corona Cartel Jess Cuervo. Grade 1 winner Make It Anywhere. Grade 1 All American Futurity winner Mr. Peloto. Grade 1 and champion producing sire Spit Curl Jess. Louisiana Center for Equine Reproduction in Opelousas, Louisiana. Be sure to visit them on the web at laequine.com. This week's Stallion Spotlight goes to nationally ranked sire PYC Paint Your Wagon, the son of Corona Cartel out of the Strawfly special mare named Dash and Follies. He earns the spotlight with the fastest qualifier in the Grade 3 Harris Futurity, Maylene PYC. PYC Paint Your Wagon was a three-time Grade 1 winner as a runner with earnings of over $889,000. He has earned $17.3 million from only six crops to race and 22 black type graded stakes winners. You can check out his member stallion page by logging on to stallionesearch.com. Okay, that's all the time we have for this episode of the Louisiana Downs Report. Be sure to tune in next week as you'll see all the coverage that we're going to capture while we're in Bossier City, Louisiana on location there at Louisiana Downs to cover the Mardi Gras Futurity and Derby. If you can't be at the racetrack this weekend, go to aqha.com forward slash racing and watch all the Q Racing videos from all the partnering racetracks from across the country. As mentioned, we're on our way to Bossier City, Louisiana. We'll see you there. If not, we'll see you back next week here on the Louisiana Downs Report.